All right, so welcome back to part two of the patch knife build. So in the last video, you saw um, the knife was uh, forged, it was um, ground down, it was heat treated, and it was tempered. Um, and in this video, we're going to pick, pick up where we left off, and I have the blade cleaned up. Um, I don't have my edge on it yet. We're going to get to that. But today, we're going to do the handle. So what I chose for the handle is this piece of walnut. And I just have it roughed out. Um, still got a long ways to go. And I built this little, made this little um, bolster out of aluminum. And I made this, um, which is going to be the pommel. And I'll show you how I did that. So basically, I started out with a little square piece of aluminum. And I drilled some holes. This one totally messed it up. Didn't look good, too wide. So I scrapped that. Then I made this one, and it was pretty decent, except uh, I had some spaces on the side of the blade. Hopefully that shows up. And that was unaccessible, uh, unacceptable. And then I made this one, and I got a really, really nice fit. So we got that. And then the way this pommel is going to work is, since the, the tang doesn't go all the way through, there's no way to really attach it. Um, I have this chunk of aluminum, then I have this aluminum uh, round bar, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this in here, I tapered it, okay, and I'm going to put some um, Loctite on it, permanent Loctite, if you never use that stuff, it's amazing, um, you know, it hardens in the absence of air, and uh, for aluminum, it works great, I'll tell you, man, uh, uh, once I push this in there, I'll actually be banging that in with a hammer, um, and the Loctite sets, it's not coming out, okay? And then I'm going to epoxy that into there like that. So I, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to epoxy both of these, the, um, the bolster and the pommel onto the wood so I can finish shaping the wood. So you get an idea of what it's going to look like. And I'm going to you know, I'll bring this down more graceful, a little slimmer, and uh, it should look very nice. So I'll bring you back once I have that epoxied up. All right, so I have it epoxied, the uh, pommel and the bolster epoxied on. It's actually two days later because I epoxied this separate from this, and I'll tell you why. I didn't want to get epoxy in there, in the slot, um, so what I did was I just made this little jig, which is a hole, a slot that the knife goes in, the knife blade, and then it fit, I fit it on here, I epoxied the um, bolster, and then what I did was I put wax on this side, and the epoxy doesn't stick to the wax, and then I took another piece of wood like this, and I clamped each side with equal pressure, and then before the epoxy dried, I pulled the blade out. So my blade wasn't stuck in, and this was perfectly lined up with the slot, okay? Then the next thing I did was, I took a little vise here, I put my blade in, placed this in the vise with a straight edge, Going across here like this. Hopefully you can see that. Um, this way I could get a center line. And I just used a Sharpie and drew a center line on both sides. So now I'm going to take this over to the belt sander and I'm going to start refining this to get it down to the exact profile that I want. All right, I'll bring you over there. All right, so I'm over my belt sander and I created a slack in the belt by um, screwing on, I drilled three holes in the back of this through the plate, the flat plate, um, and uh, just added a, it's about, I'm gonna say, a little over a quarter of an inch piece of aluminum block 
what that does is it holds the belt out and it creates a slack spot so you can see that and then this way when you're sanding it does round you know it'll make round surfaces instead of it being flat it's very hard to make a nice round surface so let's get going Alright, so you get the idea. So I'll finish that up and then I'll uh, I'll bring you back. I don't want to do too much too fast because the aluminum is a great conductor of heat and it gets very, very hot. And I don't want it to get uh, too hot. So I'll do it little by little and when I finish that I'll bring you back. Alright, so we got the initial um, sanding done on the belt sander. I like the way it's coming out. Now it's uh, time to hand sand. And that's uh, a preview of what it's going to look like. So I'll hand sand this and I'll put a finish on it. And uh, we'll be very, very close to uh, assembling it. I'll bring you back. All right, so the handle is... Um, Got its first coat on and it's drying. I figured I'd give the blade a sharpen. So uh, let's see how we did. I'd call that good. So <laughs> I'll put. I'll probably just give it another little hone with the strop. And uh, I'll tell you, this file, from what I gather, it could be anywhere from. 1880 something I forget the name of the file um, that I started with but uh, it could be you know from the 1880s on to I would say the early 1900s so this is some seriously good steel so let me let uh, give a couple more coats to the handle and um, I'll be back and we'll epoxy this in and uh, maybe make a sheet this episode we got to see how long it's gonna take all right I'll be back all right, so the handle's done. I'm liking it. Remember I was telling you about that plug that I put in there, the, the pin that went through that you wouldn't see it? It just disappears. So now the next step is I'm gonna epoxy in the blade and I'll bring you back when that's all done. All right, here she is. Came out nice. Got a nice little distal taper on the uh, blade. It's very sharp, as you saw. Got a really good fit up. I like the shape of the handle. It just it feels it feels nice in the hand. And again, this is not a bushcraft knife; just a patch knife. But and as I mentioned before, you can't see where that pin was. Slowly is becoming my favorite knife. <laughs> I say that after every knife I make. But all that drying time for the epoxy gave me time to make this uh, sheath. I got a nice welt in there. Burnished everything. Got a little wax over here. I finished them with wax. Um, some upcoming videos, I'll have a little bit more detail on how to make these simple sheaths. And for those that say I should mark my items, there's a D. <laughs> Fits perfectly. Doesn't come flying out. Easy to get out. Easy to go in. So there you go, folks. Again, sorry it took so long to get this second part out. The... Uh, all that drying time with the epoxy so uh, but um, I'm really digging it and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and inspired you to try to make one yourself and like always from the bottom of my heart I appreciate all your views I appreciate your comments and I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you on the next one